Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be working on the shelves right here and down below. I made a mess. I've got stuff all right there and on the floor. And we're just going to dive in and we'll start playing. Before I get into this video, I want to touch on something real quickly as a community. So, you guys, the month of May has been epic for me. I don't know what is in the water, but I have had a lot of negative Nellies attacking everything I do, um, and it really started to get to me. I'm being totally honest with you from the heart. You guys know I love all of you dearly. I really, truly do. Some people just have no filter, and they're like, Bleh. whatever they don't like, they let you know it. And I thought to myself, nobody is going to school me on how to decorate in my own home. That, and that's that. That's what I want to say. 99% of my community has comment, decorum, and etiquette. There is that 1% that love to sit behind their keyboard and they like to let you know exactly what you're doing wrong and how you should do it better or how they would do it. And respectfully to those ladies, I love you, but you're not going to school me on how to decorate in my own home. You're just not going to. So I just, I'm penning a comment right here out loud. If that happens, I'm deleting comments. I'm just going to do it because I find it rude. Now, if I ask you guys, what do you guys think I should do here? Or do you like it? I am opening that door wide open for suggestions and I'll gladly take them. But when these comments are just so mean and nasty and negative, I won't tolerate it. So for those, for that small group of people, if you don't like what I do, you don't need to tell me, okay? Respectfully, just go to another channel or come back and see me when you like, maybe you like something else I do. It, it gets to be a bit much, it really does. And in this day and age with social media and all this stuff, why can't we all love and support each other? And if you don't like something, just, you know, move on. I don't need to know that you don't like something I did. And put yourself in my shoes. If you were in my shoes, would you want people coming at you left and right? This looks awful, blah, 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 blah. you know what I mean? You wouldn't like it, it would get old. It would get old real fast. And it would kind of steal your thunder and make you second guess yourself, which is what was happening. No more. All right, let's get decorating. Okay, I think what I wanna do is take these down and do something different. Perhaps put some different greenery in those pots. I'm not doing anything to this cabinet or that cabinet. And I think I'm gonna take this down and redo it. We're gonna redo this. And I've got some other items on the ground. So let's start playing. So originally I had this picture up there. I love it, but I kind of want to do something different. So I'm ready for some change. I love the pop of yellow, but I'm going in with a different picture. Let's throw it up there. So last Friday, I added a picture similar to this over near the front door. And this is the matching picture that goes with it. And so because these are going to be kind of diagonal from each other, I thought this might be a nice change. And it's, it's a botanical. I love adding botanicals in the summertime. And do I wish it had color? Yes. Yes, I do. But we're going with this. I want to go ahead and add in my black and white marble serving board. And I'm going to place it right there to kind of fill in the white space. I want to show you these adorable fruit pieces. I have a pear and an apple. I think I'm going to elevate the pear. I went on Amazon 
a couple weeks ago, I was looking for some decorative uh, coffee table books and I didn't read the reviews. I just, I thought these were actual books and I got these in the mail. I went, what the heck? These are books you would use in like staging a home and they're, they're cardboard and they don't open. I thought maybe they were book boxes. I will put a picture of what the set looks like. It looks like this. Still super cute, and I'm gonna place them up here. And then I have this adorable candle holder. I believe this is Creative Co-op, but super cute. And I'm gonna put a candle in it. I have an Amazon picture with a little wood lid that went to something else, um, a wood riser and that and two bowls. I'm going to take those down and do something a little different to tie in the black. I thought I would replace the white picture for the black picture that I got on Amazon from Creative Co-op and I thought it would be fun to put these beaded wooden salad servers in the picture. I just feel like when you decorate with neutrals, sometimes you can warm it up with wood. Aren't these super cute? I love these. They're different and they're so pretty. And then here's the creative co-op picture. And I thought I could put these in the picture. Actually, I kind of like this look where you see two of them with the beaded decorative part showing and then two with the top showing. Now I'm gonna go in with this one. Now on that shelf, I decided to go this way, but now I'm gonna go this way. top I want to do something different with those. Currently what was in these pots was this little topiary. I found these on Amazon. They, they're adorable actually but look at look how flimsy. However if you're gonna sit them on a shelf on a hutch somewhere where they're not gonna get bumped they're fine. They're not substantial enough for this pot. I had it like this. I had them sitting up there like that, which I think is kind of cute, but we're gonna do something different. So I have these two topiary balls. I thought I could just stick one in one picture and one in the other. <laughs> you know, they're a little more substantial, so I think it'll stand out better up top. <laughs> Okay, now to sort of warm it all up, I have this huge tray from Home Good. I love this tray. And I think, well, let's just start playing. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I do know I wanna add a lamp. I didn't have one here before. And every time I walked past here, I thought that's what's missing. So I just ran out and got my little glass lamp and a wood riser. And once again, adding wood is a great way to conceal the outlet. So I'm gonna go in with this huge serving board that I found at Home Goods. Okay, 
so I love how that looks. Check out this cool serving board I found. I love the decorative detail on the corner and it's just, it's beautiful. So I thought since I'm going with sort of the black, brown and white theme, I thought I would throw this in just to kind of see how it looks against that wood backdrop. Now you guys know over the years how I love these faux muffins. And so I'm gonna put one in here. This little cloche is by Creative Co-op. I love it, so cute. And then I have this tea towel and I thought I would just kind of throw it over the tray. So I found this at Home Centric and I thought it was so cute. And I'm just gonna squeeze it right in by the lamp. So I originally had a marble cookbook holder and I'm gonna swap it out for this black one since we have so many black accents. And we're gonna go in with my The Art of Picnics book. If you guys haven't seen this book, it is a must have for summer and the pictures are beautiful. You will get so many wonderful ideas. I'm gonna sit it in here like that. Also just got this book. I thought you guys might be interested in. It's called Natural Tables. It's beautiful. So you can see the binding on the side. It, it talks about how to create uh, natural tablescapes um, and the pictures are just beautiful. So I was gonna put that right there, but I kind of like the color. The last thing I'm gonna add faux artichokes on it and I'm gonna put the cloche top on. And I think that looks pretty cute. happy with how this turned out. For me, it gives it a very organized yet pretty look. That will do it for me guys and I do plan to add color but I'm using what I have right now and I'm just loving it. I just am. So thanks so much for joining me and I will see you guys Friday. I've got some fun wall decor from Ashley Furniture and um, Kirkland's and I want to add them to the room and we'll see what else we get into but I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.